Like and subscribe and click the bell icon to get new video updates. Covered in WA, Mark McGowan confirms WA's state of emergency declaration will last beyond July. Premier Mark McGowan has confirmed his intention to keep WA in a state of emergency beyond July, a move that would allow covered measures such as mandatory mask wearing and G2G passes to remain in place until after winter. The legislation underpinning many of the state's covered restrictions is due to expire on July 4, after previously being extended for six months in late 2021. However, Mr McGowan revealed Police Commissioner Chris Dawson, who is departing the role to become WA's next governor in July, had recommended a further extension. Allowing the state of emergency legislation to expire would leave police unable to enforce covered measures like mask wearing capacity limits, border controls or quarantine directions. One thing I've noticed about Covered is it is very unpredictable and so things can come along you didn't expect, Mr McGowan said. And that's why having the capacity and the powers to do those things, I think is important. Because you don't want to have let it all go and then find you don't have the capacity or power to put in place measures that are needed. So that's why the Commissioner has given us advice to the effect that we will still require the state of emergency at that point in time, beyond July. Hopefully that'll be the last time, hopefully. But we'll monitor and see what occurs. WA and South Australia are the only states where mask wearing remains mandatory in indoor public settings but Mr McGowan could not say whether the rule would bend prior to the end of winter. Obviously we'd like to get out of wearing masks as soon as we can but that's just dependent upon the health advice. I'm not going to rush that, he said. Opposition leader Mia Davis has been pushing for an end to the emergency powers as West Australians transition to living with covered in the community. There's legislation that is going to require rolling over if there's an intent for Western Australia to remain in a state of emergency, she said. That is clearly not the preference of the opposition and the people of Western Australia. We ask that the government is up front with their plans in relation to transitioning that state of emergency and all of the mandates and restrictions that are associated with that. Provide us with the triggers so that we understand when we can move to dealing with COVID as an endemic disease, rather than under the emergency powers that currently exist. Liberal ML seat John Sidmer has also railed against repeated extensions to the state of emergency powers, which he said were originally designed with much shorter-term crises like cyclones or bushfires in mind. Such declarations were designed as temporary measures only and the extraordinary executive powers they give rise to were never intended to be used so aggressively and arbitrarily for such an extended period, Mr Sidmer said. The declarations were appropriate when made two years ago as the virus was an unknown quantity and effective vaccines had not yet been developed. Time has moved on, the border has come down, and Western Australia is now among the most highly vaccinated populations globally. We need to deal with circumstances as they are, not as they once were, and we can do this with confidence.